Hi YouTube, this is Zaz here and this is gonna be a series of videos introducing to you the various playable units or constructs in PGR. Now according to the official Twitter of PGR Global, the game will be released on 16th of July, so mark that on your calendars, right? So here in this video, I hope I'll be able to give you a better idea on how the units are like in the game and if you, they will suit your liking or play style, so you can better decide for yourself who you will want to invest in. I'll be starting off with supposedly the first banner unit and that is Lee. There are two versions of him, so we'll take a look at them both. So let's get right into it. Starting off with the S version of him, he's called Lee Random. You'll see that he is SS over here, but that's by getting dupes of him and evolving him. So his base version is S rank. Here we can see that he's an attacker and is fully physical. You'll need to take note of that while building him in a team. Specialties are easy to deal uh, high combo damage and powerful skill combinations. There's even a gauge at the bottom that it shows uh, he's very good at single target doing area damage and also burst damage. Relatively easy to use but I would say the ease of uh, use really depends on how comfortable you are when using him so I wouldn't take that too much into consideration. Now next I'm gonna move on to his skills. Red Orb, continuous firing, leaps into the air and uh, fires uh, in front of him a small AoE. More orbs does more damage. This is basically his main combo and damage. Now Yellow Orb, backstab, firing. Now storms on, the, uh, storms on and shoots at the target. Similarly, more pings does more damage. It also puts a mark on the target with uh, increasing duration based on the number of pings. Now attacking a marked target will deal an additional shot that does um, increasing damage based on pings. So when the target is marked more than once, it takes the one that with the higher number of pings. Now that's pretty straightforward. So you can see that here, uh, he's increasing damage on mainly single targeting and the damage increments from the number of pings is pretty huge. Given double the duration from 4 to 8 seconds duration on the mark and from 14.12% to 42.35% additional damage per time the target is being attacked. So it will be important for especially boss fights to save up for 3 pink yellows. Now moving on to his blue orb, Induction, fires an energy projectile forward dealing physical damage. Of course, uh, damage increases with more pings. An energy ring will be generated after the projectile hits the target or reaching a certain distance. Now the energy ring will slightly pull enemies towards the uh, center once and the enemies in the ring will take damage per second as long as they stay in the ring. Okay, so we are done with the orbs. Now this is the active skill section starting off with his basic attack and it's pretty straightforward. Signature Orbiter Strike, this is his ultimate. Now calls in a fire support from long range energy cannons. Now you will get to see that in action later on. Now the QTE is his support skill that you can summon him when he's not in uh, the field. Uh, so he will jump in and shoot in mid-air dealing said physical damage and uh, to the target. Now this extra damage bonus. Now lastly Ultima Awaken. So this is apparently uh, is pretty important late game most for most units at least. Uh, or maybe, maybe more all of the units have it. I'm not 100% sure but uh, I'm not gonna go through this at this point. But uh, you'll see later on, you know, in future videos, why this is important. Now for his passive skills, core passive. Now any three ping consuming the next red orb will carry out consecutive shots that deal said physical damage per shot. Now this should be additional damage, so you can, so you can see that it's importance to chain this instead of just spamming your red orbs individually. Now next we will have his captain skill. Uh, every team you can choose a captain or a leader which also translates to a leader skill. For him, he gives his whole team increased physical damage and movement speed, which is very nice indeed. Moving on to target lock, Electrocute. It is a passive that gives extra damage done to enemies in his energy ring given by his blue orb. Now adds a little synergy over there. And another target lock based on his yellow orb skill, which also increases damage of mark target. Lastly, we have 360 degrees lock. It adds an overall 10% physical damage for 5 seconds after a 3 ping and can be stacked 3 times. So this makes him very bursty as you can store a couple of 3 pings or also making use of perfect dodge to get one stack off this uh, off the bat. 
So I can see that this, uh, you know, he does have quite a few ways to maximize his damage potential. But of course, you will need to reach SSS plus rank to unlock this passive. That means getting quite a few dupes of him. Alright, jumping into combat. Starting off with his uh, basic attacks, you can see that his basics are sort of medium ranged. Hence, if the enemies are too far away, you're gonna miss. Maintaining distance will be key here and uh, for his autos, he moves towards the target or the enemy and uh, with his last hit, he disengages with a uh, slight move back. Now let's take a look at his skills, Red Orb AoE in front of him and uh, he, you are free to move while the skill is active, so when he's still spinning. Now, Yellow Orbs makes him jump and kick his target. This is one of the one that places a mark on the enemy. It also acts as a, you know, a disengage to maintain distance. Now, Blue Orb creates a feel like that on the ground. And uh, of course here is his ultimate. Now uh, you need to spam attack for him to shoot faster. And there is like a crosshair that moves around the map if you stop shooting. So allowing him to target different areas if you want him to. Okay, let's go into an actual fight to see his moves. I've chose this particular fight as it's a sort of a boss fight. And you can see how he feels when dealing with such fights. So pay attention to orbs at the same time uh, and dodging also. A matrix gives him, you know, a 3 ping, and after any 3 ping, a single orb, red orb triggers his core passive. Alright, so this is a rather short fight for Lee, as my Lee is relatively strong, but I think you get the idea. Now, main challenge is maintaining distance and being mindful of his combos to maximize damage. Alright, next, I'm gonna move on to the A rank Lee, Termite. Yes, that's his name but I might have butchered it. But anyways, he is also an attacker type. However, he is 60% physical and 40% fire. So specialty is being easy to deal high combo damage and able to deal physical and uh, elemental damage. Look at this review. He has uh, less AoE damage compared to S rank. But then again, these reviews are you know baseline stuff. More important would be how you use the character. Now going on to his skills, Red Orb fires 15 quick shots at target each bullet increases by damage with uh, pings and deals physical damage, gains super armor when casting. So what super armor is, is something that makes your character not interruptible by usual means and also increases defense when taking damage. It probably, uh, I'll probably make a separate video to talk about more about this sort of mechanics in the future. So basically, uh, shoots 15 bullets and gaining super armor. This already sounds like a long channeling skill, but we'll get to the animations later. Now yellow orb is inferno shot fires blasting bullets at target. Now the bullets detonate after hitting the target and deal fire damage based on the number of pings, then sets fire to the area that burns for a certain duration and you know damage per 0.5 seconds. Now subsequent attacks also burn enemies in the area and deal more fire damage. So this probably relates to uh, your other hits also adds additional fire damage. Now this skill looks like an important part of buffing up his damage. Now let's look at Blue Orb Magnetic Shot. Uh, it fires an explosive bullet at the target, dealing physical damage and damage increases based on the number of pings. This is very straightforward. And uh, looking at the wordings, it seems to be a single target attack. Might be wrong here since it's exploding. So far, looking at his skills, only yellow is fire damage and it really feels like it revolves around chaining yellows to buff his damage. Now let's look at the active skills next. Uh, basic attacks are also physical damage, so no fire there. Ultimate is an AoE around him. We will take a look at the animations later on. Rapid Fire is his QTE. Uh, not only does he come in and deal physical damage, he also uh, inflicts Electrocute. Uh, says here, Target, I believe is only on one tar enemy and gets this debuff and gets an extra 10% uh, physical damage for 5 seconds. Well, it synergizes with his um, uh, S rank 
uh, what do you call S rank version, who also has electrocute. So maybe you know you can use both of them. I'm not 100% sure uh, whether it's worth it to be using both of them in the same team, but uh, at least electrocute is uh, something that you can stack on. Uh, it stacks multiple times. Maybe you know other units can also uh, trigger electrocute. Uh, next we have attacker. Uh, which gives extra damage bonus and of course Ultima Awaken. Right, for passive skills now, his core passive is after consuming a yellow orb, next red orb will inflict blast. So this um, red orb fires 15 shots, right? And I will assume all 15 shots will be buffed with this effect, which gives 20% fire damage to enemies in the area. So yes, this is his main mechanic, chaining yellow to red. Now having a burning effect and also exploding bullets on that particular area seems like a lot of uh, things going on over there. To his leader skill, Riot of Color, gives all party members more physical and elemental damage. So if you are running a mixed character like A. Lee, so this might be useful. Now landing prediction, Lightning. When hitting enemies in the burning area of Infernal Shot, which is his yellow op skill, this further adds to the importance of the previously mentioned core passive. Now next we have Flame allows him to get a damage increase when he hasn't taken any damage for the past 10 seconds. Now this is a high skill cap mechanic over here. Not, not getting hit at all. Well, maybe that's possible, um, but definitely not with my current abilities. But that's interesting. Now lastly, we have Enhanced Controlling Bullet, which increases damage of his core passive by 20%. Now seems like a lot of damage revolves around his core passive and nothing on his blue skills Still. Now let's take a look at how it feels like in action. So we, as we can see here, a recommended combo, it says electrocute with blue 3 ping. Now we didn't get to see that in the description, so maybe that's what his blue orbs does. Electrocute that increases damage taken by the enemy and it also, you, know, you can also stack it. We will need more information uh, or for the devs to actually fix the description. But we can see here that it still revolves around using yellow to red combo now so it's either yellow to red or blue to yellow to red simple now taking a look at his basic attacks similar to attack combos he moves back uh to on his last hit however different from his s version with his autos likely being single target he also has a really really huge range Now his ultimate is an AoE around him and it looks really cool. So we can gather here that he's more of a long range attacker that focuses on kiting enemies and using relatively simple combos to chain and rack up his damage. Not an expert when it comes to AoE, we'll need a lot of movement when dealing with a huge wave. Now his damage also relies on enemies staying in his burning effect, which can be problematic when dealing with like highly mobile enemies as he's unable to lock them down. Let's get into an actual fight. Alright, okay, uh, we didn't start with any yellows. Okay, let's see if we can get any yellows. No yellows still, oof. Now what do I do? Okay, finally we got some yellows. So, yellow to red. Yellow to red. Okay, I'm finding the right moment here. Okay, oh sh uh, oh damn, I, I didn't get the yellow off. Wait, did I get the yellow off? Okay, anyways, now, now I have no reds. Oof. Okay, one red, one red. Yellow, red, come on. Alright, there we go. Okay, so you can see that uh, it really focuses uh, on getting his yellow to red combos to, to get him started, to get him his damage going. And uh, I mean, technically, it wouldn't, it shouldn't be that difficult to get a yellow and a, and a red in the field. You don't really have to have multiple pings of it. But then again, uh, I was pretty bad with the RNG over there, right? This is what uh, A rank Lee is all about. And of course, I hope that this video actually helped you in understanding the two Lees, uh, what they are for, 
and how is their play style whether that's something that you will be, want to be uh, using for yourself right and uh, if you have enjoyed the video like and subscribe to my channel for more of such content I really appreciate that as that will get my content out there for more people like you guys to learn more about the characters in PGR prior to the global release. So that's it for me. I'll see you in the next video. This is Zaz here and I'm signing out.